Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to the Cab Vultures. The old Roll Blues, it is the series in which we are uh, trying to survive, but Middlemark has gone to war with Safe Haven, and of course, Safe Haven went to war with us, and right now, Safe Haven is surrounded completely um, due to Middlemark being at war with us, and like, oh my god, Middlemark is declaring war on us, which is probably not good for us in the end, uh, but it's good for us in the meantime, so maybe we can make an encirclement, maybe we cannot, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that actually really helped us out. Now, Middlemark probably wants our territories too, so we gotta continue working on building ourselves up. Excuse me. Building ourselves up. Because all we have are Battleford and North Battleford. So, we gotta be really ready on everything over there. Oh, and now these guys are killing each other too because of the carcass of what was the Kingdom of Manitoba. Now, do I recommend the uh, cow vultures? Honestly, no. They're very tough to play as. I mean, if you'd like to try them out, of course, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but it's just very difficult playing as them. Uh, Lockhart's good. And uh, we read this in the last time, the City Thrice Ward. If you're new to this skin, please go ahead. I want to keep going on anyways. Yeah, this was actually really nice of uh, how this ended up happening. So. Now let's see, we got a lot of snowmobiles here. Look at that. Very cool. So hopefully we can win here. Um, War score participation, 45%. So that's pretty good overall. It's a great, no, but it's pretty good. Once the medicine hat goes, they're pretty much all screwed, so... Hey, there we go. Um, that's all we can take. Uh, I think we can take more than that. Should be able to, at the very least. Well, this will greatly reduce the amount of border we need to have with these guys, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Um, we don't have a lot of divisions. Oh. Okay, 245 days. I don't think we can be ready for in 245 days. Uh, there's raids. It contributes a lot of people. Bottle caps economy. Um, hmm. Well then. Gateway. Now we can show you guys here, maybe. Well, let's see if we get any uh, any cores. I mean, I'm really interested in the city thrice ward. Let's see what we can do about that. Um, we definitely need some of this because um, we have riders, we have stampeders from when we eventually were actually originally the uh, great stampede, and we popped out of them. 12 combat width, infantry template, it's not great. I'm going to throw some cams on there, because, my god, we could really use those. Um, yeah, so they go to war with us, that's not good. We'll see what happens, but, yeah, that's really not good. Because that's a long border to defend here, a long border to defend here, too. Oh, we might do some funky stuff, because we've already used some funky stuff in this campaign so far, so we might have to do more, but the fate of Grace table, eh? Um, that's all one. All one, all one, all one, okay then. Once it was Kingsley, a beacon of vile merchantry and aristocratic madness. Then it was Greystable, monument to whether we wanted to admit it or not, love, family, and belonging, something we understand very deeply. The stampede took from us so much that we will never get back, but the memories forged in this place were carved from pain and made into home. Is it right then that we created to destroy the culture too? That we seek such vengeance, or perhaps it is time for the cat vultures to find their own home as well? A pi pied piper, holler a rhyme, a dollar and a dime. Industry is decimated. Receives five level damage of infrastructure. Way less resistance target. Let's see. Gray stable. Honestly, it's not that bad. You get a lot of political power, which is good. A lot of caps and war support. Resistance goes to zero. Or we found a new motorhome after all. Get a core on it. Ooh. You know what? I like this, but getting that core is honestly crucial for us right now. The child. Her name is Joy. Moving on. Um, the Sun Dells, which I read last time, too. Uh, money folding. Asked to join Northern Congress. From mad villainy to mad men. Join the bloody electorals. Ew. Approaching Middlemark. We could try to get out of this and try to... And you know, we probably should race towards this. If we can join them, they won't go to war with us, right? Maybe? We traded blood for money for decades in the hope that we'd be able to find our own. That isn't working. We need a new home, one we can share and grow in. And there goes all of our uh, manpower. But that'll make everything, all the other compliances rise up too faster. So, 
Um, in the meantime, uh, we are going to get some military spending bonuses. Yeah. Now we have no money. So, can we raid them? We have no money. That's right. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Metis Congress looking pretty good. Metal Mark Grant and Reopening. When Metal Mark has always been open to the public. Uh, their store at zero location in Calgary just sent out signals discussing a grand reopening, urging customers and curious prospecting sorts alike to go and take a look at their vast arrays of discounted luxuries and must-have items. The signal, of course, urges customers to not only feel intimidated by the raiders employed there, citing their buy has always been has been entirely been removed. The signal is promptly uh, followed by an apology regarding the assault of a customer who claimed to be a warden of the white. Wow, I just can't wait to go. Interesting. And approaching Middlemark. The Miscounts are another breed of raiders without a home. Past relations with them have always been positive. Maybe it's time we find some kindred spirit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's better for political power. Uh, what do you have outside of Italians? Cultural advisor or settlement raider it seems nice. I like it a lot, actually, because it really reduces resistance growth speed. But I really do not want to reduce compliance growth. This one's not good, because all you get is war support and mobilization speed. You lose max planning factor in an organization. That's not worth it. Stability is good, though. Um, someone's dying here. Let's do this fine, whatever. More attack. Um, breakthrough. Required garrisons. I like the attack. Attack seems pretty good overall. Um, before we do that, Punishing Raider. Let's go to well equipped Army. That's probably worth it. So hopefully they let us join. Um, I should have been increasing relations with them. But we can anyway, so. Oh, look at that. I have freaking mover uppers. With a newfound partnership with Miscounts, Penny's been nice and nice to us, offering us a premium membership package. Ain't that swell? So they, they, ah, see, we just got out of it. Nice. So they don't want to kill us anymore because we're in a faction with them. We're part of the Miscounts. Fantastic. So if that works like that, can we go to war with these guys too? Oh. Or stay in Moose Jaw. No, probably not. Maybe the guys of the north? Um, hey, students finally back. Good. Uh, any manpower? Oh, yeah, we definitely want that manpower now. Gateway. Honestly, I, we might go to war with the gateway then. Just because they actually have a decent amount of stuff here. So let's see. New loyal customers, good. And roving on. Arms workshops, are we missing a lot of equipment here? A lot of infantry equipment, so obviously that's not ideal. I read that one last time too. And then moving on, we define requests on vengeance. The stampede is gone, we must move forwards and harness the rage into proper thought. Energy cell gain. The motorized enforcer smells. It's not in faction. Oh. Okay, the Metis. They've been spurned in many ways similar to ourselves, while the culture is far older and much more dignified than our own. We have, we have much we have we could learn from them. Whether vengeance settled, perhaps we could offer our own families to their noble causes versus the North American fur trade. The artisans of the Metis are famed for a variety of reasons. Ours have always been far more crudent and simple minded. Focusing on weapons of war as opposed to the tools of survival lets us assist them in every way we can, and versus a child. And that also was not just Amy Lee, that wasn't John. There wasn't John. There was another, and Mad Villain was left with a choice. Dandelion Truckers. Oh, this would have been nice to get. Well, eating people isn't exactly something we've been accustomed to. We certainly aren't above it. Desperate times, right? Ha ha. And friends with benefits. Ooh, this would have been good too. Uh, Jacob Dunder has always been a good friend to the motor families. His factories would have given us many repairs pro bono that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. We really ought to return that favor. Well, the electrodes are dead, so. Sucks for us. We need to need a core a lot. Um, it's taking a while though, because we're on ways on pacification. We just don't have manpower to do what we need to. Uh, can we raise stability any more first? No. Okay.
Happy July, everybody. Ah, her name is Joy. When we scoured uh, Grace Stable for the couple, we found John Lockhart leading a charge that he did not return from. Amy Lee Sundell, however, was another story, one mad villain kept himself. When he entered their home, he found her with something he did not expect, a baby in the crib. On the verge of tears, she called him a monster. He agreed, but his hand was stayed. It would have been easy enough to kill her, but everything in his heart fought against it. In her last moments, she chose to protect her one and only child. She did not raise a weapon to fight or charge for glory as her husband did. She merely sat at home and did her best to protect what she cared for most. In that moment, Mad Villain had a choice. He asked for the baby's name, and the mother replied simply, Joy. He stretched out his armored hand, watching as the baby held out a small hand, grabbing at his fingers. They killed our children, we'll kill theirs too. Oh, we lose stability, get more attack. Mad Villain murdered Amy Lee Sundell and joined their own home. He never spoke of it again, but it remains a scene upon his soul. Oh, wow. Though Amy Lee had to die, Joy would live. The father, more recovery and defense. Mad Villain knew that letting Amy Lee Sundell live after everything they had done to the Motor families wasn't an option, but Joy was an, exempt for, an exemption from that. Amy Lee Sundell was never buried, left to rot within her own home as he carried Joy out of both hands. With both hands, she would be raised as a greyhound, and the cycle would begin anew. Joy's family had already uh, suffered enough. The merciful, more compliance grows speed and required compliance for coring. Mad Villain spared Amy Lee Sundell and her daughter Joy. He could have never given them back John, but he could let her walk away to a free, a free woman. He held no care, no interest in any more bloodshed, the irony of his vengeance sinking deep into his heart. I like that option. We're a negotiator, we're a sovereign, and we're a war horse. It doesn't mean we're murderers, though. Um, we're not here to murder and kill and... Well, we're here to kill, I guess. Um, we're merciful when we need to be the murder. We're not going to murder people here for now. The father? Um, we're a war horse. Joy's family has suffered enough. Well, scavenger culture, legends of the skiers. You know what? Screw it. We need this. So that should actually boost, give us kind of a nice boost here for all that. Um, oh, there they go. Rival territory. So the divisions we're using right now are the infantry templates. Eventually I want everyone to become vulture motor homes. Wow, we need a lot of divisions, don't we? Should help out a slight bit. Ooh, and there goes the Legion and the NCR. Uh, moving on, and then the trucking lords reassemble. With the four trucking lords back together, the motor families are once again at their full might and then some. Without the CPF, without King Z, without the Stampede, they are forced, truly unstoppable. Nice. Where's this one? Oh, we can't do this one now. Many years ago, a mad villain fought alongside her friend. Those days are, no, are behind us, long behind us now. The Road of life allows no U-turns. Oh. The Skiers. The Skiers were originally the only motor family to not start as truckers, originating in the far west in the Cascadian Mountains. We welcomed them as kin, and we were eager to join. They were eager to join. They may be a bit strange, but they have the right spirit, and that's what matters. The joy of Cookie. Cookie's madness was far from the metal, that of metal fingers, derived more from joy, and desire to cause as much mayhem as possible. Her joy binds us together in times of disarray. So long as her heart remains intact, so too well, shall we. Oh, the research slot, uh, the key keg wheels. The keg wheels and their liquor are famous for all the wrong and right reasons. Legend has it that if you drink enough beer, you go right back around to a double negative and become a genius. And such philosophies douse the keg wheel leadership with intelligence. It's from the deep gullets that we derive our innovation. Should have done that earlier, but whatever. The genius of Zed. Of all the motor family heads, Zed was far, by far the most relaxed. His intellect saved him from the Stampede's hour, ensuring. Uh, that has continued survival and return to the fold, where he now continues to work as our chief scientist, the Wolverines. The Wolverines are savages that bring the reputation of the motor families down, but they also serve as the greatest weapon against the foes that would try to do us dirty. They are the necessary evil to survival, thus we go the way of the other Canadian travels and the rage of the Metal Fingers. Metal Fingers has always been a murdering psychopath. It was his loyalty that kept him to his fellow motor families, and in the end, that undying respect for his peers and undeniable hatred for his enemies. Some say he eats people, we don't like to talk about that. Yeah, we're gonna go with mechanized. Shoot cons, eh? 
get that fourth research slot. I did not realize we could get another research slot. That's awesome, actually. All right, so we're getting close to being able to core stuff here. Not quite, but we're getting close. In the meantime, uh, I did want to get this guy. Division attack is nice. Um, I wouldn't mind getting these guys too. Go figure. I wouldn't mind doing this one too. The recovery rate. Yeah, there you go. Basic tools good. More output, please. Because, my god, we're out of guns and armor is coming back around. Nice. Uh, the Greyhounds. Who was it then who stood against the might of the CPF in times of old? Who was it who fought against the Canadian People's Front? The Greyhounds have long since been the vigilants of the Canadian prairies, and they would gladly do it again. The wisdom of Matt Villain. Matt Villain's words were few, but they were powerful and valued when they were delivered. He was a man of action, and so his words were powerful. His wisdom called for a steady amount of internal production, supply lines of factories all contained within the trailers of our trucks, and new generation of truckers. Uh, from the fires of our exhaust, we have persevered against impossible odds with our enemies gone. We now raise a new generation of motor family children without the fear of death or comeuppance. I want to get those uh, military factories as fast as possible. That would be good. More stability. Tons of stability. 89%. I want this one, but it's honestly not that great for us. And uh, we can't even get to that yet. So really, it's at Carol, Carolbert? Carolbert? Or even Major. Looking alright. I thought another settlement, yes. Arms workshop, yes, please. My god, do we need them? Um, yeah, for all this stuff. More infantry armor. We're gonna need a lot of that. Oh boy. Let's see if we can actually beat these guys up. We're looking decent on infantry equipment, though. Everything else is pretty good. Anti tank is looking good. Um, you know, we're gonna throw that on these guys. It's gonna hurt our armor a little bit, but, you know, whatever. Anti tank is always worth it. Always, always, always worth it. We need the money. You know what? Helps out with the new systems care package, too. 93% is looking pretty good. Eventually, we get to core all this stuff here. And we go to war with the Union of the Machine would be nice. The gateway, because we want Hudson Space. Ooh. Well, I wanted Hudson Bay City, at least. Because that's a good trade now, too. How much damage we can actually do in the end? Well, we'll actually have to wait and see. Um, it's going to be a while. Mobile fire teams. I'm not using fire teams yet. Mobile enforcers still. Yeah, that would hurt us for our armor. He has a 7.7 .7 more soft attack. Motorized infantry. Virtual armor too. Tanks would be bad, but mobile demo teams? You only get 8.8 .8 more soft attack, which is not great. 13 more HP? Well, this gives you 43 more HP, which is 30 more, which is insane. Gives you more organization, actually. And it's almost the same amount of soft attack, so I don't understand why we would not choose this one. Years. Try that one. It's fine. Nice. How much money do we have? Not enough. Never enough. Do we have any factories? No, not enough. Never enough for any of this stuff. Uh, but Grace Table. Don't work on that. It's fine. No, an 80. That's fine too. of the silo. Keep working on our sh trucks. Even more stability, yes. Hey, they're 100%, finally. Um, 3,000. There you go. New generation of truckers, of skiers. Nice. See what you can do here. I'm not convinced that we could do a lot. Doing something would be better than nothing. Thirty-nine more manpower, not great, but whatever. See what you can do. I do not want to give them any uh, experience. Good. As long as they're not trying to come and circle us. That's the most important thing. 
Huge amount of XP's too. Broken masks. Come on, do something here. Come on. There we go. Two thousand is not worth it. Seven hundred is really not worth it. Oh, man, these all really kind of suck. Get them from this side. Infantry armor. Oof. Protected storage, huh? Help them out. Best we can. Right. Oh, that was so close. At least for them. Well, we'd like at least one thing here. Well, we can't take what we originally set out for, so I'll take this one, I guess. Oh, maybe we can take it. Manifest North. Okay, to this one too, why not? It can look really ugly, but it is what it is. Well, if they don't go to war with us, for it. See the moose jaw, little mark. I guess we really have only one more army to really go after. Mechanized. I think it's looking okay. The George Cookie. Greyhounds. Um, really not a lot of manpower around here. Population in general. 700 is not worth it. More factories, maybe. Research speed. Do we need more support equipment? No. Hey, Hudson Bay City, nice job. Chop shop we actually buy stuff from. Got some money. Hollow girls? Motorization speed, man. And then uh, with the of mad villain. So I think that'll be the last one we do for now. And maybe we'll go to war with these guys and try to clean up and core more stuff around here. And now, it's 2283. We're going to try to go to war against these guys. See what we can do. We're not winning everywhere. We have their ciphers broken. Um, we're doing all right so far. We lost 25 versus their 200 some, but they are using robots. Which actually makes us look even better. So about 2,000 manpower in reserve. We got 2,500. We did not raise a conscription level. We've just been sitting here coring things the entire time. Making more, uh... uh divisions. Uh, so... Fully maxed out divisions. This, I'll show you which we got working with here. Vulture motorhomes. They're all motorized uh, combat. Hold on, I, what am I saying? Mobile enforcers. So we've got mobile maintenance companies, mobile recon, mobile logistics, mobile cams, as well as anti-tank. For your anti-tank needs. So overall, it's, we're actually doing quite well. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty nice, too. Help them out. And by help them out, I mean kill them. More initiative, coordination, and organization. Yes, please.
That would be fantastic. Scavengers found something. Well, that's great. Um, help settlements out. Prioritize living standards. More stability. And this is what we've done so far. We've quite a lot, as you can see, all across the map of where we owe, own our territory. So, um, But yeah, we're doing pretty well overall. We've killed off 2,000 versus 144. That's pretty decent. The mobile chemical companies help out quite a bit. Log mobile logistics, not super needed in overall blues in my opinion, but I threw them on because why not? We've not used them in a long time. It gives us more initiative too. So, sounds like a no-brainer. Just for funsies. Oh, just beat the crap out of them. Um, we don't really need anything here, so we're going to go with infantry. Because we can. Uh, we're still on Wilco Army, haven't done too much else. We're just here to be a, a mobile army, quite literally. That's all we are. 31 divisions in total versus their 51. And we're still doing very well. Oh yeah, just smash those robots. Um, what else we got here? So they're out of manpower. And hopefully they're gonna they have a few planes. Not much. And they're on the war never changes. Good. Good. Good to see. You lo yeah, love to see it. Um sure. Just more core water, I guess. Hey, look at encirclement. Well, there was an encirclement, now they're all dead. Three thousand losses, not bad. Is it perfect? No, but we're doing the best we can. Better, even more initiative. So that's not too bad. I don't mind the initiative. Follow New Canaan. There goes New Canaan. Very cool. Get a little bit of recon. So here's the world as it. The Washington Brothers looking pretty good. They actually destroyed the miscounts. Or we are the leaders of the miscount faction now. Um, but the Northern League took them out. Took out uh, Middlemark, which worked out in our favor. The Legion has just dominated the NCR completely. Which is fantastic. New Reno's here, 80's are here. Um, Nevada Pact is completely surrounded by the Kaiser's Legion. That's a terrifying thing. Texas Economic Union is not looking too bad, but they got to push out. Uh, oh, that's weird. Texas Economic Union does not have the Texas Development Zone. But they're fighting the Republic of the Rio Grande, and they're doing surprisingly very well. Look at that. Doing very nicely for themselves. Actually, for their campaign, we're still on Raider Bands, yeah. So it looks like the Provisional Republic of Texas is going to win, which is fine. Whatever, we have no stake in their in their war. Don't really care. Um, happy December, everybody. And how are we doing now? It's 4,000 losses, 40 divisions. They still have more than us. Logistic signal control. Nice. Very nice. Um, sure. Rocket launcher sounds pretty decent, too. So we're not very well advanced on our technology, but we're doing all right. Just go ahead. Head up there. Pre-war tools are nice, and we're going to grab some replicators. It's weird how we can be very advanced at some things and just behind in technolo technology and some other things. Wow, we already made it all the way up there. Holy cow, we're out of manpower too. What do you expect from us? Expect more. Expect better. 5,000 losses. Now we have an equal amount of divisions. Now it's a fair fight. Groverdale and Circle. Oh yeah. That's pretty nice. Cool. Hey, that's not too bad. So if we kept going with this, we'd do pretty darn well. Uh, but yeah, this, that's Cab Ultras. Not easy to play as. I wouldn't really recommend them. But uh, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.